Don't turn around yet, please. Did you get my letter? Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here, would I? No, of course you wouldn't. What do you think? Just like that. I'm sorry, Frank. We've got a lot of ground to cover first. I meant every word of it. I'm sure. All these years and a, and a day gone by without a thought about you at least once. I'm afraid I can't say the same. I don't believe you. I'll tell you when. Frank, we've got to face each other some stage of the game. Come in. You look terrific. Takes twice as long these days. Why are you still putting yourself down, I said? Look, Frank, I better tell you now, this ain't gonna work. Now who's being hasty? Like you said, darling. We've got lots of ground to cover. I'll let you change the tool. I'll still pick you out of crap. More of me to pick out, isn't there? Oh, come on, stop all that. I'm just telling it like it is. Do you, uh, have any problems? Taking into account the old fair wear and tear. You look pretty much the same. Well, the old ears on its way out, isn't it? Still the same colour, though. And I could do with losing a few pounds. With all that beer. Where'd you get it done? Eh? Hey? she do it for you? Do what? Your bonnet. Well, what do you mean? Come off here, Frank. It's out of a bottle, same as mine. Of course, What do you take me for? I'm not one of them, that's for sure, and I should know better than most. Then why would I want to die me here? There's nothing wrong with wanting to make the best of yourself, male or female, especially these days. Well, it's uh, going to get grown or something. Youth's mad, they are. Oh, it's not a rinse or nothing like that. It's a liquid you comb it in and it does it gradual. Well, works quite well. Oh, thanks very much indeed. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? Fancy drink? Silly question. I spotted a little place on the way over here. Quiet, bit off the beat. What about the rest of your crowd? They're forming a search party looking for me. Well, didn't you tell them where you was going? Mm, I gave them the slip. I don't want everybody to know my business. Well, there's nothing wrong with meeting an old friend, is it? <sighs> yeah, well, I didn't know I was going to meet you. I very nearly didn't. Why? You should go to that pub. They might be here any minute. Do you remember where we first met? Yeah. Butlin's clacked on the ballroom. There's a big band playing. Eric Winston. Yeah. Nearly all gone now to big bands. You were with her, and I... I was with Beryl. Beryl Heath. No, I couldn't even tell you what she looked like. Oh, you only met her the once after that, and we kept trying to ditch them. We were both standing at the bar. Oh, you look gorgeous. Luscious, you call me. That was the word in them days. Luscious. Funny how things change. Dying to ask you for a dance. It took me ten minutes to pluck up the courage. All my hands were sweaty while running them down my drain pipes. Yeah, they were a bit hot and glammy. Where was she all this time? Oh, she was having a drink with some of the mates. If you remember, there was a big crowd of us that went down. Remember the song they were playing? That was an old Joe Stafford number. See the pyramids along the Nile. See the sunset on a tropic isle. Just remember, darling, all the while, you belong to me. Felt I did that night. Mind you, I was only a kid. No way, darling. Not in a swimming costume, you wasn't. I don't remember us going swimming. It rained practically every day. The beauty competition. Miss Butlin's by the pool. June went mad. I was shouting and screaming, fortunately so were all the other fellas. Nearly burst her eardrums, it did. Uh, you looked a knockout. Your skin was as clear as a city on a Sunday morning, it was. No eyes. Oh, Don't touch what you can't afford, Frank. Do you remember got down to the last five and your name was called? I didn't think I stood a chance. When the two runners up stepped forward, I thought, well, that's it, I've had it. I never dreamt I'd end up wearing that crown. Do you know what? I think that was one of the happiest days of my life. Do you know what? Mine was two days later. Shelley 204. I was petrified. Why? Didn't I tell you? He was the first. Oh, next, Widow. What's up? Oh, 
Ja, dat is stil uit. Hier weet je zo. Maar niet even de beer? Ja, ik weet wel. You had your chance years ago. So the impel couldn't walk out unless she was six months gone for crying out loud. She's a clever cow, I'll give her that. She get you up the aisle the same way. There were other reasons. I never know where I stood. <sighs> Don't give me that, Frank. <laughs> when I couldn't get round, you didn't exactly sit at home and twiddle your thumbs, did you? What do you expect me to do? I could have been stuck in that dump for weeks on end waiting for you to call. There's nothing wrong in going to pictures or a dance with your mates. I remember come looking for you one night. June had to go back to her mother's unexpected. You were a bit unexpected yourself. I could have killed that geezer. He was the boyfriend of a mate of mine. We were just larking about. You had a bite on your neck. Like I said, it was just a bit of fun. What about all the other geezers to go dance with? They just a bit of fun as well, weren't they? All right, so I was a bit of a tease. But nothing ever happened with any of them. You say you don't know where you stood. How do you think I felt? That's why I used to go out. It was a slim chance I might just forget about you for a couple of hours. If I didn't, if I'd have stuck at home on my jacks here, I'd have probably top myself. Why don't you men ever learn to read between the lines? Why do you think I married Pete? I wasn't in love with him. It was you I was mad about. I did it to spite you. You wouldn't give your wife the elbow. I wanted to get back at you, and the only way I knew how was to get a band of gold the same as you. I always thought the same as Jim that you met. Did you? He was premature. Was it Pete's? I don't want to talk about it. Was it Pete's? I said I don't want to talk about it. Ah, oh, that's fine, but thanks very much. Thank you. In fact, I think we've been beating about the bush long enough. I didn't come here to where you're talking about. Simon and David, I'm sure you didn't come here to be a rabbit on about my three. Which had two kids, same as me. We had another, a little girl, about five years ago. Left it a bit late, didn't you? We should have done something about it, but uh, she wouldn't. Glutton for punishment, some people. <laughs> she was in labour for hours. I was by her side for the first two or three, but when she started to yell and scream, I had to leave her. I couldn't take it anymore. And after a little while, I could she? They performed a cesarean. Baby was fine, seven pound, four ounces, but you... She ain't dead, is she? Died about six months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Really, oh, I had no, it. just... No. Birth really took it out of me. Never really was a summer. She got home and her heart comped out. Uh, strain, the doctor said. <laughs> I mean, when we got home from hospital, I mean, she, she'd never let her. You can't when there's a baby around. I did what I could, weekends. And after work, but it was never enough. Never enough. You poor love. Look, you mustn't feel guilty, whatever you do. I'll get us another drink, then. No. You stay there. I'll get him. She's cute. What's her name? Janine. Your lover. I was too when there are other people. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Actually, are we going to uh, bring her on today? She's still living with you. She not your mum's or June's? No. no. Well, what happens when you're working? Well, my oldest daughter has her and I'll pick her up when I'm finished. I see. So, uh, if I went along with your plan, I'd be getting a husband and a daughter. No, it's not. Well, when you'll get on great, well, she's no problem. I'll get the picture. I know that's how you think. Don't give a monkeys for me, do you? You just want a mother for your kid. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I do. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the woman I want to be with happens to love me. Now, you admitted that yourself. And I love her. And I have done ever since I first clapped eyes on her. So take it easy, my man. Take it easy. Hiya! All right. Welcome to the Ile de Chien. Come on, girls, let's have a drink. I like dogs. Oh, don't. Here, there's a Pat with you. Of course she's with you. You know, Pat, time on our hands is something neither of us have anymore. Look, the match, I've got to get going. Screw the match. The future's far more important. Sorry, I need more time to think. So you're not completely off your idea, then? 
I don't know what I think anymore. Well, look, give me a minute and see what I can help. A little while ago, you said you married Pete out of spite of me, right? All right, you did. But if what you're saying is true, I mean, you couldn't have been on top of the world yourself, could you? I wasn't. So in getting your own back at me, you only hurt yourself just as much. More probably. And if you ain't careful, my babe, you're going to do the same thing all over again. Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? Pat, this is your last chance. It's now or never. My last chance? My cure's not ours, mine. No. They say a woman never forgets her first. Is that right? That's what they say. And you haven't forgotten, have you? I've tried hard enough. And it could be just as good again. Could it? Look, if you want to put it to the test, there's a little hotel just round the corner. No, Frank. I've got to get... I can't let the team down. Hey, how long's it been? Let's change the subject, shall we? Nobody has ever made love to me the way you do. You weren't exactly a slouch yourself. Then you haven't forgotten. I didn't think for a minute you had. Couldn't get enough of me, could you? Didn't know when I was going to see you next, did I? Do you know sometimes I used to leave for a couple of weeks on purpose? You knew I'd come running even faster. Well, it was true, wasn't it? I mean, all I had to do was... Snap your fingers. Come on, babe, let's go to the hotel. I know you want to. Written all over your face. Oh, I'm that obvious, am I? I've always been that easy, have I? Is that why you wouldn't divorce her? Pat, we're wasting time, love. Oh, you're so right, Frank. I've wasted quite enough already. <laughs> <laughs>